I don't think I want my hair red anymore. I, I, okay, where was I? Hair keeps falling, but oh well. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Mireya. On my channel, you will find beauty videos, hacks, DIYs, and also recently homeschool videos. So if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I have a love and hate relationship with red hair. I love it, but then I hate it. I love it because it looks beautiful. I get a lot of compliments. And I hate it because it's pretty messy and hard to upkeep. The reason why I decided to get rid of my red hair, because this time, this is my second time that I've dyed my hair red. And this time around, I wanted to leave it red for almost a year or more. But then everything happened where the stores were closing and I couldn't find my hair dye and my hair was growing. I had some hair growth and I think it looks pretty bad. I would dye my hair. I know it might sound like too much. Please don't get mad at me. Twice a month, almost every two weeks, I would dye my my roots because my hair grows pretty fast. I didn't like it. Like when my hair was growing, when you could see my hair growth, I didn't like it at all. I couldn't find the hair dye and then I ended up being like three months without the hair dye and the hair dye kept being out of stock. Finally, they, I find the hair dye and once I get the hair dye, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't think I want my hair red anymore. So I decided to remove the red hair. The exact color is Chroma Sangria from L'Oreal Paris. I buy it from Sally's Beauty Supply, but this last time I had to buy it from Amazon. They kept being out of stock, but they finally had it and I finally got it in. Finally got it by mail. But I'll probably dye it like that in the future. I really don't know, like I'm undecided and right now I want something different. I want like a dra drastic change. I think that all of us that dye our hair, we always want like something different and sometimes we go even, we go all out or we go even more. I, well, at least it's my case, right? I want something totally different now. And I've wanted this for the last three years. But anyways, um, if you guys want to see what, uh, how I'm going to dye my hair, just subscribe to my channel. I already bought the hair dye and stuff or the products I'm going to be using. But anyways, I, I use this product here. This is the color fix. It removes unwanted permanent hair. This is a great product, guys. Let me just read what this box says. This says it gently removes permanent hair color no matter how long it's been in your hair so it doesn't matter if you just dyed your hair yesterday or if you've had it like that for a couple months it'll remove the hair dye and it really does look at my hair i think it removed the hair my hair dye really good no more redness in my hair and i feel like my hair has gotten to um um pretty close to my natural hair color it's a little bit lighter but yeah it's gotten pretty close and it's gotten better with time I don't know how that works with this hair dye, but it's gotten better with time. It easily removes any level of hair color. So it doesn't matter if you dyed your hair black or red, it'll remove it. And it happened once to me. Uh, effective on all hair types, leaves hair in optimum condition. Like, I don't want to say it damages it, but it, obviously it doesn't leave your hair any healthier. It might damage it the minimal, the minimal, the most minimal that you can think of. I mean, my ends are a little bit dry and I know I need to chop them up. I need to cut them. So, uh, I don't, I can, can't say like it doesn't damage, but possibly just minimal, whatever is minimal to you guys. Uh, precise control formula usage allows color correction to specific areas designed for full or slight color correction. Easy to mix and apply that I can say. So I got a bowl, bought it at Sally's. It, this can't be easier. Step one, step two, mix them together. Pour them in your bowl, apply it with a brush, your fingers, don't forget to use gloves, apply it, and then you're done. Does not contain ammonia or bleach, that's pretty good. Gently reduces the size of color molecules, allows for easy color removal, no pleasant odor. Now that, you're lying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. That is not true. It might not relieve unpleasant odors at that moment, but it's thinks for like a week and a half. My husband didn't even want to get close to me. I'm not kidding you guys. And if you try this at home, you will also think the same. This is the second time I tried this product. It's not the same exact product because they changed the, the whole boxing of it, but it smells horrible, horrible. It's like when you walk into a salon and they're doing a, a perm on someone, you know that really bad smell? That's how it smells. It's, it smells horrible. Like I couldn't even stand my own hair, my own smell. I'm like, please get rid of the smell. Get rid of my hair. <laughs> Just for that moment, I'm like, this stinks. I can say that it smells at its worst when your hair is wet. 
Once it's dry, it's not that bad, but still it's a stinky smell. From six to 16 applications, depending on whether use is for partial or full hair correction. So it says that you can use half and half. Let's just say you use half, half, mix it in the bowl, then you apply it, you leave it on for a desired time. You can reapply it. Your hair is wet, you can rinse that off, reapply it even if your hair is wet, and then uh, leave it. It's not gonna, it's not like it's gonna burn your hair off or anything. Uh, I only used it once. I'm like, you know what, let's just get it done and over with the first try. Mixed both of them, applied it on my hair, and after I applied it, I rinse my hair you will see in the demonstration video that I will be sharing with you guys but I just want to explain to you guys a little bit of what the process was so I washed my hair and once my hair was dry my hair was a bit orange orangey orangey I guess you could say it wasn't red anymore but it wasn't orangey but I kind of liked it you know um, it wasn't like that bad of an orange but I was afraid I was it was my nephew's uh, birthday party uh, coming up so I was afraid that my hair is going to be too orange, but I'd rather my hair be orange and, and not damaged than my hair to be damaged and me having a new look. So I didn't really mind that as much. Yeah, I was a little bit orange and I don't even know how to explain the way this works. It's like if your hair had a permanent, a permanent marker on it. This is, I think this is a way to explain it. So this is gonna remove the permanent marker. And throughout time, your hair with every wash, it's gonna go back to your similar color. I mean, at least mine has. I mean, are you guys able to see that my hair is no longer orange? I will be showing you like the image of the day that after I used this product, my hair looked pretty orange. I am not a professional. So please, if you need a professional, please go see a professional because I don't want you guys getting mad at me and coming to me and saying, Mireya, my hair's ruined because of your fault. My hair's orange because of your fault or my hair's not going back to my natural hair color. I'm not a professional by no means. Please see a professional if you need professional help. I'm just sharing with you guys what's worked for me and hopefully it works for you and you can save money by doing so. Yeah, pretty cheap box. You get rid of the hair, dot, the red hair. I guess that's pretty much it. Let's, let's go on to see the way I applied this product and how it worked. <laughs> Hello friends, so this product is called Color Fix. I purchased at Sally's Beauty Supply in case I haven't mentioned yet. So make sure that you're wearing a t-shirt that you no longer care for, right? That it's probably gonna get stained. So be careful with that. You don't wanna use your favorite t-shirt. First step is you're going to mix bottle one and bottle number two. You're gonna place it in a mixing bowl. I purchased my bowl at Sally's and I'm sorry if I mentioned like where I purchased things, but sometimes I have questions from where I purchased them. So I like to mention them in the video that way in case I forget to put it in the description box, you already know. I took my earrings off, watch, make sure that you take any accessories that you might have because you don't wanna get hair dye on them. Even though this is not a hair dye, but I took them off just in case. Make sure you wear some gloves. You don't want to get any type of product on your on your skin because sometimes it could irritate your skin. So this is what my hair looks like. I wanted to share with you guys what my hair looks like. It looks pretty bright right now. So I'm going to be mixing bottle number one and bottle number two. I'm going to be applying that with a brush and also, I'm also going to be using my fingers. Make sure that you mix the products very well. I'm going to be taking the whole two bottles and mixing both of them. You can always use half and half and then if you don't get the desired color of your hair then you can always go back and use the other half and half that you did not apply. I'm going to be applying it as I mentioned with a brush. I'm also going to be using my fingers here and there. Make sure that you apply it everywhere. One thing that I would like to mention is that sometimes it, I would feel like it wasn't being applied, but my hair was so bright red that you can't, couldn't really tell if it was wet. So I made sure that I had product on all of my hair.
So once you have applied all of the product, you're going to add a cap or you can use a plastic bag and you're going to leave it on for about 20 minutes. You can always go back and check if you feel like the hair dye is being removed so quickly, then you might want to rinse it out before. But for me, it was 20 minutes or even a bit longer. Yeah. Yeah, it was possibly five more minutes. One thing that is very important. So once you have left it on for about 20 minutes, what you're going to do is you're going to rinse it out and you're just going to use water. You're not going to hop in the shower, take a long shower. No, you're just going to rinse out the product. And one thing that I was surprised was that my hair was not tangled. Sometimes when I apply a hair dye, my hair can get really tangled or dry or even damaged. I didn't find that with this product, so I was able to brush my hair pretty well. As you can see, I'm going to be drying it and then I'm going to be brushing it. That way you guys can see that it was very manageable. Then I'm going to apply the third bottle or the last step. I'm not going to be applying it with a brush. It doesn't have to be applied all perfectly. So I just applied it with the bottle. And as you can see, my hair is not tangled at all. So I'm just going to apply this product. And this product you're going to leave on for about three to five minutes. And then you can hop in the shower, take a shower, rinse the whole thing out. I'm just going to leave it on for five minutes. Then I'm going to hop into the shower, rinse everything out twice. You, you can use the shampoo or conditioner to rinse everything out. So the results the day after. My hair did turn out to be a bit orangey. And I did miss a spot where I still had re some redness hair dye on my hair. It did turn out a bit orangey, but as time went on, for some reason, somehow, I don't know, my hair pretty much got a bit darker so it got closer to what my hair natural hair color is now this is the third day and my hair was pretty wet so you can't really see the the color exactly but later on i should with you shared with you another image of what my hair looked like when it was dry and the hair did get pretty light at least i got rid of the redness so i was pretty happy with the results Well guys, what did you guys think? Do you guys think you guys might use this product? Are you guys afraid that it might not work for you? This is the second time I've used it. It's worked for me both times. The smell has been the same both times, the same results both times as well. I also had longer hair the first time I used it and it was enough product. I don't know what else I could add. I really hope this video is helpful because my intention on my channel and the videos I share with you guys is always to help you guys in any way that I can. I'm not here for any other reason but to help you guys out as I have been ever since ever since I started my channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this really helps you guys. May God bless you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Take care. As you guys can see here, my roots, my hair is a little bit lighter. This is my natural hair color there. And this, this here is what my hair looks like right now. I like it, so.